Hi, we're going to continue. This is step four, I believe, of my Walking Man animation videos. And uh, what we first did was we put two animations in here, and you could pick which one's the default by turning it like this. The default animation will be orange. And when that animation's there, you would want to make sure, we would want to make sure for these that we have the loop set on the animations so that they continue looping over and over again. Um, and then this here is something called the animation controller, which we had to attach to our man object right here and the animator component. So first things first, we got two animations. How do we control which one plays? We're going to go to the parameters here in the animator window. See there's a layers and there's a parameters. And in the parameters, we're going to add a parameter. We're going to call it, we're going to make it a bool. And we're just going to call this parameter is walking okay so is walking could be true or false then over here this is the first animation that'll play when the game starts playing but we can add another transition by saying make transition and we could draw that line to say where we want to go from idle that we could go to walking and we can say when we want to go to this transition by clicking on the transition line and then have a condition. So we'll add a condition that says is walking is true. So the conditions over here, they'll be the different parameters. And then the parameter could have a default value of true or false. And it came in as a default of true. So let's see what happens now. The game should start. It should play the idle animation. And then it should play the walking animation. So I'm going to press play. And you can see the idle animation plays and keeps playing. Now it's waiting for me to say is walking is true. So keep attention to where this blue line is because that's the position in the idle animation that's currently at. So here we go. I'm going to press is walking. And then he starts walking. And he keeps walking in a loop. Now I'm going to turn is walking off. And it doesn't matter, it'll stay walking. So there's one more thing I want to do here is when is walking is true, the animation will jump to the walking. And when is walking is false, I want it to jump back. So here's the line that goes back to idle. I click on that line and the condition to go back is going to be is walking is false. Okay, so let's press play. And right now walking is false, so it stays in the idle. And then I click the is walking and it waits for the idle animation to finish and then it plays the walking animation. And the same thing, pay attention to where that blue line is because it's going to always wait till the animation finishes. I turn it off and it goes back to the idle. So if I want to wait for the animation to go to the end before it switches, right here, let me press stop. Right here, there's a thing called has exit time. So if I want it to wait for the animation to finish playing before it switches, has exit time will be checked. Okay, so this is the one going back to idle. I don't want it to wait. As soon as I change the is walking, I want it to switch back. And this one too, as soon as I press is walking, I want it to switch. Don't continue playing the animation, just switch. Now the difference is gonna be that as soon as I click is walking, the animation changes no matter where the blue line is at, no matter where in the animation it's at. So here, it could be right there. I click it and bam, it jumps right away to walking. And then as soon as I click it, bam, idle. It doesn't matter if the animation finished wherever it's up to, it just switches back to the other one. So that's good. That's how we could control um, playing between animations. And I know I said in video three, we're going to do the script, but um, and in the next video, we'll do the script to control this transition via script and input control from the user.